we can't add up. That's why we're poorer. Is this a way to shift blame for government policies which leave people worse off? We've got a World Reading Day, we've got Literacy Day, but too often we think maths isn't as important and people joke about, I was no good at maths at school, I can't deal with numbers, but we've got to change those attitudes. Say what today is all about. It's just about encouraging people to have a go. There's a math test available online and to overcome those fears to get better. And I think we can change as a nation. I think people now appreciate it's really important. I think the teaching of maths is much better in schools than it was. So this is about trying to get it up to a ne the next level. There are falling teacher numbers mm. in secondary schools rising pupil numbers, huge growing demand for school places. And have you had a word with the Department of Education today? Because secondary schools cannot teach maths if they haven't got the teachers there to mm. teach it. Well, we do, we do actually have a record number of maths teachers in our schools. But one of the issues is we've also got a record number of students choosing maths because it's a really important subject and that's why we're giving teachers bursaries who want to go into school and teach maths. We're getting people who are second careerers coming into schools to teach maths. This is about all the people in the workplace who might struggle to do maths, who might fear it. I'm somebody personally who enjoys it. But I know a lot of people view studying maths a bit like going to the dentist and it's trying to overcome uh, those issues people have, that mental block, because the more you yeah. practice, the better you get. You might be spending money on new teachers. You are not spending enough money on keeping teachers. And schools filled half the vacant posts uh, in the years 2015 to 16 mm. um, with qualified teachers who had the expertise and the experience. I mean, if, if you're not hanging on to those teachers, we're not going to get better mm. at maths or anything else. Well, I know the Education Secretary is doing a lot of work on reducing teachers' workloads. Teachers got an average pay rise, including promotions of 4.6% last year. And we've given head teachers the powers to be able to reward teachers in schools. But as I've said, this is not just about what's going on in schools. We've got a huge working population. What we want to do is encourage people to take the test today, see how they can brush up on those skills and, and improve their prospects of getting a better job. OK, Ms Truss, what's uh, nine times eight? Uh, nine times eight is 72. But I'm not going to answer any more of these questions, Piers. I knew you were going to ask me that. You know and what? I think you, one of the problems you got, we've got, you got there is eventually. that people get put on the spot. <laughs> I, got, I got there eventually, but I think one of the issues is that people fear being put on the spot about maths. They think it's something that they're going to get caught out on. And I think we've all got to be prepared to try things, to have a go and overcome that. Let me turn, if I may, to Thank the, you. the yeah. ongoing battle over Brexit. Uh, an unlikely voice entered the debate uh, yesterday. Sir Mick Jagger warned Theresa May he's getting no satisfaction over <laughs> Brexit. And he said this uh, on the Radio 4 Today programme. One week it's one thing. One week is the next. Everyone would like to see a fast resolution, a united front, and some leadership that's united rather than split. And I, I found myself uh, completely concurring with Sir Mick Jagger and wondering why it is that we are now so far past the point of the referendum and we are still apparently have no idea really what Brexit means. Well, I'm a big fan of Sir Mick, and I certainly agree that we are pressing the start me up button on Brexit negotiations. We are getting things going. We've already made progress in December. Uh, we've got the transition deal agreed. We're working now towards June Council to get that final deal agreed. And we will be leaving the European Union next year. We have made progress in those European Union negotiations. We have a clear path for through to the future. So my view is we need to get on with it. We need to have the ability to strike independent trade deals. That's what the Prime Minister has been absolutely clear about. And it, it is a complicated process. It does take time. So why should we now trust or believe you now that you think you're right about leaving? In other words, you've done a complete U-turn, so your credibility is, is slightly shot, isn't it? 
Well, when the facts change, Piers, I change my mind. And I think that's a completely reasonable thing for somebody to do. Uh, what is bad is to keep sticking to the same thing you've always believed when the world has changed. The prediction was that when we left the EU, when the vote came through, that it would be severely damaging to the British economy. Actually, we've seen the economy's resilient. We just saw figures yesterday that we've got record levels of employment, the lowest unemployment since 1975. Things are a lot better than were predicted. And I think that the British people have said that they want to leave, that the economic prospects for us look good outside the EU. I've just been to Brazil and Chile talking about trade. There's lots of opportunities for us as Britain. And I now think that Mick Jagger and everybody else in Britain wants us to get on with it. Okay.